Hello everyone. It's uh pretty late. My hair is not cooperating, but I just wanted to say hi. Uh hold on, let me what the fuck's going on with my hair? Hey everyone. Uh it's me. It's like almost eleven. I was almost passing out in bed. But then uh I heard there was a show that's coming out on HBO. So I got excited about that. So we're gonna react to a teaser and then a trailer. Uh, it's for something called the, the Nevers, which I've never heard of, but um, HBO Max, I think is gonna be on a roll. So I'm excited for them. So this is the teaser. It looks super naturally, so I got excited. So uh, this is the full trailer that, do that dropped today. This was the teaser and it was released a month ago. So I just wanted to dive into it and it's on the official HBO uh, channel let me turn up the brightness a little I don't know if I'm gonna need to turn down the music so let's just leave it there and go that doesn't seem like your Maybe face three years ago the power that mocks God Ooh. Whoa. Oh. I was afflicted. Untouched. Untouched. Yes, Adair. Being touched is not a defect of character. And there's war. The cops are purists. There's no shortage of people who hate us. That's what I like, which is... I just come to help with that. We don't want more violence. Gentlemen. Oh. Might we be civil? <laughs> Whoa. No arm in arm. A touch and it's a threat. I take it then that you are yourselves among the afflicted. This looks we fun. Consider ourselves afflicted. Point out of something much bigger. This should be lots of fun. Huh? Based off of a comic, that looks so good. Holy shit. That looks like a lot of fun. Let's go through it uh, once more with feeling. And I'll put on uh, the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, and that's why she's touching herself. Because they're the touched. Interesting. And she probably feels like superhuman. She's like, I've never felt more alive. Um, Let's put on subtitles so I know what they're talking about. More clearly... It came three years ago. A power that mocks God. I like her freezing that. Those afflicted are touched. Miss Adair, that's a cool last name. It's character. How many of you have died in the three years that this has happened? I'm excited about this. I think the forced crack was a little much, but I do appreciate um, how badass she feels. She looks like she destroyed his genitals. The budget on this show seems phenomenal, which is awesome to see. I wonder if she can make technology. So like maybe she made that car and that little flighty thing. I like the transition. That was a cool go from red to the black or to the white. I mean, that was very cool. They just seem like a lot of badasses. So I'm excited about this. That was very good. I'm giving that a thumbs up. I can see why it has so many views. Um, now let's watch this one. This is the full trailer. Cause this is coming out next month, Three years ago, which is next week. I woke up with a power. Subtitles. Three years ago, everyone of the touched woke up with a power. Can she teleport? That was a cool transition. Rewriting the rules of reality. I want them under control. 
Even if it requires a bloodletting, I will cut your face to a mess. Well, I wonder why that's why she did that. You know, you were touched. Yes, they have oh. weird deformities and afflictions. They're unhappy. Well, what whatever they are, mean? I think they're a gold mine. You know what a better world could be like. Is that the mission you were going on about? Yes, I do have a mission. And I'm not cut out for it. But it matters. There's a harmony to our world that's worth preserving. The touch are not a threat, yet you seem determined to prove that they are. Yeah. The church, the purists, they're a danger to us. We have enemies we don't know about yet. Ooh. <laughs> Oops. response cannot be hate will be lined up in the streets or the wicked punished and the good protected you often engage in public violence i know where i am in a fight because i see glimpses of the future oh. something happened it's not fun watching you throw yourself at danger like you think it's going to propose could be fun Oh, I like him. There's savagery. Chaos. Whoa, cool. on protection, and I need information about why we're here and what we're meant to do next. We're taking a terrible risk. The future of the world depends on what I'm doing. The future of the world depends on the present. Mm. Attached. A part of something much bigger. So that's like three weeks from now. This looks very exciting. I'm really into this. Um, now let's watch it again. <laughs> let's see if we can slow down some stuff. I can't tell what these masks are. I guess they're like the un like they're the hunters of the touched. Her eyebrows are a little much. This guy looks like he's trying to fit in with the rich. But it's not working. And I feel like that says a lot about his character. Like, even the fact that he has a pinky ring, I think, says a lot of how he wants a better life. This guy. I love that she leans into it. She's very pretty. She reminds me of the actress that played Jessica Jones on the Defender show. And also her own show, Jessica Jones. So there's someone in a wheelchair. Everyone else seems kind of normal. Tall girl. Drunk man. Giving me a lot of Klaus vibes from, uh, what do you call it? Umbrella Academy. She has sonic energy. She can teleport or not teleport. I can't tell what's happening here. Her fire ability is very cool. It's like fireworks. It's very Jubilee almost, but more fire based. She's cool. She seems very tall too. Like what's with all these machines? I feel like he definitely has a point by like what we had before and our history does deserve to be preserved. But that's, oh, excuse me. It's such a like bigoted, someone who's afraid of change sort of standpoint. Like I get it. Like you're worried that like everything that you once had is going to go away, but that's not true. That's just someone who's afraid talking and wanting everything to go their way. So I can't tell where they are if this is like where uh, people hang out, like when they are touched. Is this like a like a touched speakeasy? Because everyone's dressed very like extravagantly. 
and it just seems very extra and there's like pole dancing so I'm assuming or not pole dancing they're on a spinning circle thing but it's like a really extra speakeasy sort of thing I guess before uh, prohibition was ever um before it was ever you know started god words are hard I'm so tired because obviously there's the touch people who are bad I love how wild she is I can't tell what the story ooh, barbed wire I can't tell what the story the play is trying to tell is these masks are very creepy. I can't, it almost looks like pantyhose are being stretched over them, but there's also like, there's like this black, almost ink smoke coming out of them, which looks really cool. But I don't know if it's just a mask or if it's like a prosthetic. It's very interesting. Her visions are very in depth. Like usually, and this is an interesting to show visions. Because, you know, we've seen, like, telepathy and visions being shown before on shows. Like, I think of That Soul Raven where you're, like, zooming on the eye and you would see, like, a frame. But she's actually, like, almost living in the moments that she will experience in the future. Which I think is really cool. And really adds, like, another layer of, of depth and importance to her power. Because she's experienced them firsthand. Ooh, her eyes. I like this guy a lot. I don't know who he is, but he's very handsome and I like his accent. I can't tell if she has her arms behind her back or something crossed. Oh God, what was that? Was it like a whole meteorite of something that could touch someone? Her eyes are very cool. Nice cleave. I meant to say that before. Especially the cut. It really, her cut on her chest really helps accent it. This girl's very pretty. And she's on the cover. But we didn't really see her in the trailer unless when they're at the theater. Um, Let me find that shot again. Maybe it's on this one. Maybe it was in the other one. No, I thought it was here. Because the girl's using her fire. But there was that scene when they're on stage and there was a there was a girl with red hair. And that looked like her. Uh it'd be weird if that uh if that wasn't uh an important character later. Because she's like the cover. When you load the page, she's the first thing you see. If it would just stop loading on its own. Okay, you can't see it, but I think you could see it before, but it showed that she was, like, looking up at the sky and seeing the little things of the untouched or the things that were touched falling from the sky. Excuse me. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. I have... My sleep schedule has been absolute shite. I was in bed trying to get to sleep because um, I was nodding off with my computer in my lap. So I was like, I'll go to bed. And then suddenly I had a burst of energy of like, nope, you're awake now. I was like, fuck. Well, let me at least do something productive with that time. I'm going to try and go back to sleep. For realsies. But uh, what did you guys think? I think this could be very promising. I think it could be a lot of fun. I don't know what the release schedule is going to be like. Because I'm... I think what hurts platforms like Amazon and Disney Plus is that they release them weekly. Like, I think that really hurt WandaVision, and I think it could hurt Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, so I don't know what the release schedule for this HBO Max show is, but I hope it, I can just binge it. That will make me the happiest. That's why I think the platform Netflix is doing so well, because you can pretty much just binge all of it, and it's fantastic. <sighs> oh, sorry. What did you guys think? Uh, I think it looked really good. The CGI looked really good. I think it's going to be really action-packed 
and like thriller and uh, a little dark and suspenseful and I'm I'm down for that uh, so let me know what you guys thought down below again sorry for my sleepiness but uh it is what it is <sighs> but uh, I'll see you guys in another video okay